John Ford is not here today, and you know what he told me is he's in uh, Abu Dhabi right now, and and I've actually got sources there, and what they saw was John Ford on a sand dune trying to make a snow angel with his iPhone. So all I can say to you, John, is be careful and uh, good luck with that. Cisco recently announced that they were going to change the internet forever. Now. What they really meant to say was they were going to come out with a new router. There were rumors leading up to their announcement recently about, well, maybe they'll buy an EMC, maybe they've got flying cars, maybe everything will be in 3D. What they announced was a new router. And yeah, the thing is wicked fast. It's um, rated at 322 terabytes per second, which... To put that in a little bit of perspective, according to Cisco, that means that everybody in the nation of China could be video chatting simultaneously. Why they would want to do that is another question, but they could with this router. So what this router is really meant to do is usher in this next wave of digital video. And this is something, the drum that Cisco's been beating for a long time. And and clearly, a super fast router like this will help service providers and um, some of Cisco's customers, like AT&T, for example, um, better deliver video, you know, which is has a tendency to make these networks scream to a halt, um, or screech to a halt, I should say. One thing that AT&T, which has been piloting this router, said that, is that maybe it could be used to help it get its mobile data networks running faster. And if that's true, I say go out and buy a lot of them and get that thing working because your mobile data network, as we all know, is horrible. In other big news, the iPad went on pre-sale last week. Not sale, pre-sale. So that means you can reserve your spot. And yeah, we'll see. We should know, actually, how popular this thing is going to be. You know, in a couple of days, just based on how many pre-sales, uh, how many people are lining up to get this thing. Um, what will be really interesting, though, is how people are going to use it. You know, is it going to replace their notebooks, their phones, um, their desktops, or is it just going to sit there on their coffee table and look pretty? You know, the conversations I've been having with people yet is that, you know, some people want them, but they're not really sure what they're going to use them for. And so we should find out pretty soon um, how the iPad is really going to get used. Finally, for all of you who are feeling comfortably numb and you know who you are, Pink Floyd won a court case in Britain that says that their songs, when they're sold as digital downloads, must be sold as an entire album. You can't just do the a la carte and buy one song at a time. So what that means is, if you're going to go out and buy Dark Side of the Moon, you have to buy the entire album. And, you know, that's the way it should be. You should sit in a dark room, preferably after having been up all night long, and listen to that thing from beginning to end. All I can think of is that what follows this is Queen will be sold as entire albums, uh, Led Zeppelin, and, uh, you know, maybe the Bee Gees. So when that happens, if it happens, we'll talk about it and listen to it here. That's TechMate.